Hi, this is Susan Carlson. Welcome to my studio. I would like to show you the next step in the ongoing portrait of my son, Sam. So it's very fanciful, obviously. And I am now ready to assemble this quilt for this collage for quilting. Um, it's been a long time coming, so I'm very excited about this. I've pretty much deemed it's done. I mean, there may be some things that I still do a little more, but that's okay. It's all part of the process, but I'm really happy with it. So what I've done, I'm, um, I've now assembled it in layers for quilting. But first, I'd like to show you a little bit of the prep work I've done to make it ready to put under the machine. I have added a little more glitter and sheer fabrics on the earth, a little more earth shine, which is what the title of this quilt is now going to be since you last saw um, a video or last installment. And everywhere where I have put any sort of netting or tool, you can see it um, all kind of in this area. I have basically trapped my fabric pieces underneath. So when I come in for quilting, I can go like from here up to here, all under here, you know, depending on the fabric, the thread choice that I have, but nothing is going to snag my quilting foot because I have trapped all my little pieces of fabrics underneath these netting and tool pieces. However, there are gaps, areas where I didn't want to put that. And here's just, you know, just the fabric, the, the fabric collage pieces are glued in here. So anywhere where they're exposed, I have to make sure that they are glued down. I talk a lot about not gluing edges until you're ready to go, but here I'm ready. So that's all glued down. But I did notice as I was checking it for quilt, for assembling for quilting, that piece right there, look, there's a flap open. So I need to go back with my glue, add a little bit of glue, on the underside, hold on, I'll show you in a sec. See, there's a little bit of glue on the underside of that piece. And I'm gonna just kind of smear it a little bit and then I can press it down and that will now be ready for gluing. So I have to do that going through the whole piece. And I've done a lot of it, but there's always gonna be something else that I find that will be loose and I will just go back and have my, my glue handy. So let's move down over into here. Uh, I did have the moon. At one point, the moon itself was cut away from the foundation and rearranged on the universe. That has to get glued down. So I have glued it down, but I did notice that I missed a little piece right here. Let's say if I can't quite maneuver my glue bottle under there, what do I do? I put it on, put the glue on my fingernail, and then I just run my fingernail underneath that edge. You can also use something like a purple thing or a coffee stirrer or something like that. But I kind of get it underneath that top piece. And then when I press it down, it'll become nice and secure again for running my quilting foot over all of this. Once I've double checked all those edges and make sure that everything's smooth and glued down, it's time to assemble my layers for quilting. The top layer is the collage itself. And that right here is attached to its foundation. And I just need to cut away the foundation from the, from the collage above. It doesn't have to be pretty, it doesn't matter. It's all getting covered up momentarily. The next layer is going to be my batting. I have used warm and natural batting for many years. I like it a lot, I still use it. There's a lot of other types of battings, especially like thinner cotton battings out. Maybe you have one you like, you use it if you find it. Then I have a backing. That's the third layer. And this particular fabric has musical notes on it. It's a batik with musical notes. It didn't work in the portrait itself because of the coloring, but I think it'll make a really nice backing for this quilt because part of the theme of Sam's portrait is his musical background. I've got my three layers. Now it'll be time to attach those layers together so I can get it underneath the sewing machine. I start in the relative center of my piece. In this case, it happens to be the swath of universe, 
which actually works really well because I can start my quilting here and then as I move out from that relative center, I'll, I'll, I can move into, you know, Sam and his face. I can move up into the earth. And so I can really just quilt each of these three areas one at a time and then move on to the next. But when I pin, I safety pin baste. So here's kind of the center. I've basted it right like that. Um, then I place my pins on a, something this size, oh, about, you know, a finger, you know, I kind of take my fingers, use it as a guide. And that seems to secure it well enough. When I slip it in, I have, you know, right now I've got a board behind it. And I just, you know, pin through all three layers, close it up. And then as I start quilting, I start here, I will take the pins out as I move on.